Alright guys, welcome back to some more uh, Mass Effect. And, uh, well, I got fucking three points now. Um, I don't really know where I want to put that. I think I would want to put that into um, Operative, but... The uh, thing with Incinerate is it doesn't get that much better. I mean, sure, it does more damage, but that's it. That's literally it. And even the last point isn't that much more damage either. <laughs> so, we lost. Um, yeah, I could put one point into cryo ammo as well. I don't know if I care too much about that. I, I, I just, we, we need incinerate too much, I think. I'm gonna just forever have that, that single, sing, singular point. Uh, let's see what the research terminal says. All right, so we got uh, AP sniper rounds. Uh, increases damage by 50% against armor and improves sniper rifles for entire squad. Huh, I guess we're gonna get that. Uh, now we gotta open this up again. Requires one more assault rifle damage upgrade to unlock. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. So I don't know why it does this. Eh, it's just grayed out. Who knows? Damage protection, that sounds pretty good. Uh, we kinda need that. Biotic damage. Hmm. Med bay upgrade. I, as, as I said, I was going to skip that. Heavy weave. Oh, I can get 10% health. Okay. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Uh, retrain powers. Advanced training allows uh, Shepard to reallocate points to powers. No additional points are generated. Uh, you can complete this research project multiple times. Uh, oh, it's to reset my skill points. Well, I don't really need that. We're going to give more than more tech damage, because I think I'm going to actually bring him as a part of my team on a permanent basis. Do you have any upgrades for us? How can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying Genophate. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on Genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Trouble. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to Genophage, overcoming disease. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. I really hate how it's like stuff. Did the Krogan evolve? Or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The Krogan are dangerous enough already. With an unchecked birth rate, they could endanger the whole galaxy. Exactly. Salarian government agreed. Authorized STG to take steps. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. Is he cutting off just slightly? If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population. Avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger. Averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchan. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. 
You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Is there more here? I don't think there's any more. One more heavy ski, uh, uh, heavy ski, uh, skin weave. All right. Cryo round technology. Yeah, so it's just some upgrades we have, but we have to just progress to the green game, I guess. Commander, you received. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. I wonder if it's gonna load. It's actually gonna fucking load. I'll take this to my quarters, loading screen later. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charge. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'm on an important mission, Admiral. I'll add this to the list. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Yeah, the sound really is cutting out, but I've had it minimized actually for like two hours or something. It's been actually just running in the background, so who knows? Yeah, I don't think there's anything really good here. Like, why do they put the text of what it does like on the on the end of it? I don't I don't know. I don't I don't really think I actually got anything new. All right, I'm gonna just restart my game one sec. All right, I reloaded it, so maybe the sound won't cut off on characters anymore. Just like, literally, like the last word kind of just stops. It's really weird. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk to the crew because we did like a big mission. So I saw the reports on Horizon Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? We had a job to do, and we did it. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> All right. Untitled. Thank you for getting me out of pur purgatory. 
I'm gonna carve your name instead of uh, carve your name instead of mine to the next victim. Nice. Dad taught me to let let anybody hurt you. You got ideas and make, okay, this person's creepy. Oh, Billy. Lion soldier gave me this uh, uh, contact information. You're trying to uh, stop the collectors. Took my son and brother. Have you found them? Wow. That's uh, terrible. All right, Shadow Broker Intel. We're aware that your old friend Liara Tissoni has been enchanting the Shadow Broker. We might we mind helping her for the hunt. All right, and that that is actually a DLC thing, and I've heard that one's actually really good. So, I mean, I think once we get to the Citadel, we're literally just going to spend like fucking forever there. I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than two years. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Nice. I like talking to these guys. All right, <clears throat> time to go talk to Jacob, probably the most boring person in all of Mass Effect. Besides Caden, Caden's pretty bad too. Is Jacob the new Caden? Probably. All right, what do you want, fucker? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing, but... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Why is, like, the random shadow on his teeth? All right. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? 
You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Forward the coordinates to Joker, but a ten-year-old wreck isn't really an emergency. Of course. I'm having trouble taking it seriously myself. But still, if we get a break, I'd like to close off any doubt. All right. Another mission. I'll finish talking to everyone, and then we'll go to the Citadel. Uh, I guess we'll go to crew quarters. Problem is now there's like people to talk to every single time, but I mean that that is a lot of this What's game. Wrong? They lost contact with New Canton. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see. Oh. Board observation deck is closed until needed. Oh, I, th I thought they closed the bathroom. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. You don't tell me what to do. I wonder what uh, Chocobo says. How may I help you? I guess actually you? nothing. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical uh, yeah, is missing. I even had a bottle of I'll see you commander. Later, I guess really no, no more for her. Right. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters. But this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? <laughs> this fucking camera angle. She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Uh, I wonder if it ever put in a fucking camera angle like a Krogan's ass or something. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. You know what's at stake on this mission, Miranda. We can't afford delays for personal matters. I understand, Commander. The mission comes first. I was just hoping we would have time before... If the mission takes us to Ilium, maybe you'll reconsider. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. <laughs> I said no, but I still get the mission anyways. Basically, I figured it would work out. Alright, am I gonna get a camera angle of uh, Garrus' bum now? Please. I need Shepard. it. Need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Yeah, you bet. Oh. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Who's the other person that wanted being... Wanted 
talking to. I'm gonna guess that he never gives me anything. Maybe the Krogan. I don't know, this entire deck. Oh, actually, we've never talked to Jack before. What's this area of the ship? Fuck. Normandy's cargo deck. I'm about to run. That's all for now. Logging you. This mission takes me back. Yeah, I, I actually don't care. Oh my god, these automatic doors are horrible. Hey. Uh, Shepard. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? I forgot if I did this guy. Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tank. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. You are the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that? Or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest. But maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think. But I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. What a guy. What a guy. He's gonna give me his mission uh, eventually, not just not now. I know where Jack is. <clears throat> but we're not bringing her anymore. Just because I, I figured out that armor ruins biotics. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the Collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Uh, okay. What did you get? A biotic damage boost. I mean, I, I'll do it, but I don't really care. Hey. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm going to chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. That's very edgy. I should go. Yep. I actually do just show better quarters. Hey, Tell me about you, I'm done Jack. talking. 
come right, I guess that's it. Yep. I guess I don't get to ask that. Yeah. I didn't think about it. My bad. All right, uh, let's go to Citadel Space. As promised. Mostly because everyone's been yelling at me to do it, and I'm a couple of parts ahead, so you know, you know, just playing the game. All right, goodbye, Horizon. Uh, actually, is there more around this system? Actually, yeah, we could do all the plants here. Fuck you, then. Don't worry, this t this takes like no time at all. See, oh. Easy money. I want to go to Verbire, honestly. Just so I can be all nostalgic. I'm so glad that I did this, though. It's probably one of my finest hours. Alright, we're done. Shadow Sea. Alright, wow, we've got a lot of things here. Recruit to Justicar, the Assassin, help Miranda, give Liara intel. We're... That's not Citadel Space, is it? No, oh, this is the Citadel. We're gonna want to do that one. Alright. Because we need to recruit Master, Master Chief. He's gonna go all Halo. Fuck. Alright, here we are. A light 0.3 G's on the Presidium wing. Huh. It kind of surprised me, watching these low-res cutscenes. I'm wondering why uh, they haven't made a... Uh, they haven't made a version of this, which is... Uh, uh, what, what, what's, what's it going to call it? Um, they, haven't done, they haven't done a re-release of this. Because that's what they usually do. Alright. Grunt is pretty good as a tank. This guy's never going to be useful. She... I don't know. I think I'd prefer his snipering, honestly. We could bring maybe Zaid along. Zaid has a uh, concussive shot. No, that's no, worthless. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Garrison Warden. That's how. That's how. How our party's gonna go for sure. Cause, yeah, I'm just gonna go straight into this guy. All right, so we can either get heavy incinerate, which does more damage. 40 more damage or a couple more meters. This is actually kind of hard to decide upon. I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna go for the raw damage. That's what I'm gonna do. That's good. We have a, we have an incinerate man and we can do action overload as well. Wow, it's amazing how that kind of works out. And this is the same deal. I, I don't think they cluster enough for that to be worth it, to be honest. Because you gotta think of all like the times that they hit just one, like a boss or something, opposed to when things are clustered up, and it's not that often in this game, honestly, I think. Uh, yeah, he's got the right rifle. Morden has... I guess I'll give him the hand cannon. And the rest of this is all me. Collector particle beam. Just gonna bring that onto the Citadel, you know. I would love that. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Chef, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto, at your service. But you apparently already knew that. 
What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. What does formal wear have to do with anything? I guess you could go with what you have on, but you'd kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy... Uh, I, always expect trouble. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... ...got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. If the information's deadly, we have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. For some reason, that is not a voice I expected to match that face, but... Who knows? Alright, well... I mean, can we not just come back? Press new squad member. Uh, what if we just go back to Normandy? Oh, that's what happens. <laughs> it just leaves. Uh, I, I want to go talk to her to see if we get, we get the mission now. Because uh, this is I've never done this mission in particular, so I don't know particularly who this is or what they want, so... I don't even know where they're going to be on the ship, actually. It's kind of important. We have to do something very important. No unread messages. Alright. Can I mark on no unread messages as red? Uh, I guess not. Uh, I wonder who else has appearance appearances I can cycle through. Holy god. I mean, that's better than what honestly she had before that. So, you know what? We'll, we'll keep that on. What's this guy get? Holy fucking shit. Dude, he's got like a... He's like a fucking Iron Man. Alright, this one looks generally awful, but yeah. Jairus can look like Gordon Freeman, I guess. And that's it. Uh, alright. Where would she be on the ship? Uh, I am going to guess... I forget. Is there some way they have of telling you where she, where people are? 
Uh, are we on the cruise quarters? Yeah, there's a room somewhere else, actually. Because, like, Zaid got his own room. Maybe port observation. Ah, oh, yeah, she does have her own room here, huh? Fuck. I really should end this. Yeah, yeah we're gonna end this and talk to her later next time, so see ya.